Well, hi everybody, and today we're here in a really windy Knoxville to try out one of the best steakhouses here in the Smokies, Eol Steakhouse. You ready, Don? Ready. Let's do this. Well, hi everybody, and today, well today, we are actually gonna head uh, just outside of Knoxville, and we're gonna go to a steakhouse, which has been in business for many years, and is considered to be the best steakhouse, well, in the Smokies. It's called E.O. E Old Steakhouse, E.O. Steakhouse. Yeah, say that like 10 times real quick. E Old Steakhouse. E Old Steakhouse. Anyways, it's um, it's off of Chapman Highway, um, and um, it's it's almost in Knoxville, so you're talking about at least a 30, 40 minute uh, drive. Well, we're on Chapman Highway, heading out of town to Knoxville. Well, we're gonna head into this station. house. cool like old mountain type decor in here this place is actually known to well feed the Tennessee Bulls EO Steakhouse since 1968 food fit for a king well let's check out this menu here well they got appetizers oh nine to ten dollars chicken and seafood you got flounder well and then over here you got the well the beef you got a porterhouse uh, 42 dollars bone and ribeye 31 for the filet prime rib you got steak on a skewer and then you can make your own combo here. We got a ribeye and catch of the day, market price. We'll do this like Star Wars does. Do 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 Oh, it was featured on ESPN's Taste of the Town. Brought out the hors d'oeuvres, or at least the starters. Oh, well, it's like crackers and. Like a, it's a, it's a cheese spread in it. Well, the salad is here. All right. You, you always film your food? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like your shirt, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> Guys, this is Chris about these. You should know who he is. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna put the camera on Mindy. <laughs> and then here's Dawn over here, right? Check out the those potatoes. Well, I ordered the prime rib. Look at that. 
And um, look what Chris got. <laughs> what did you order? Uh, New York strip. New York strip, huh? Mindy That's got the, the, filet. the filet, huh? And Don ordered prime rib like me. <laughs> oh, sweet potato. All right. Does it still work? Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> so we just left Chris and Mindy, uh, and we drove down the road, and we went by this place called Freddy's Frozen Custard. We heard so much about this. Now, I know it's a chain, but I have never had it. You've never had it. So we're, we're actually in the drive-thru now. We're going to get our, our frozen custard, and we're going to sit down and tell you what we think about it. And then we're going to tell you what we thought about, well, the Eel Steakhouse. Yeah, can I get a... Uh peanut butter fudge crunch concrete um and then uh vanilla, chocolate? Uh, vanilla. okay what size um medium okay and i also need a signature turtle the concrete or the sundae concrete Okay, and what size is that going to be? A medium. Okay. What else? That should do it. You put that plate? Yep, that's it. Okay, it'll be 10 dollars at the window, please. Yep, thank you. So we're going to try Freddy's for the first time. I heard so much about these uh, custards they have here. So we went to Freddy's. Freddy's! Frozen custards. And we got the signature pecan turtle. Yep. And he got the, the peanut butter, peanut butter uh, Brick something. Brick I don't know. Something. It's a peanut butter one. With like peanut butters <laughs> and. Yeah, so um, we're going to try this out for the first time. I've never had Freddy's. Neither have I. Um, I've heard so much about it. Frozen custard. Hmm. So, what is frozen custard? Is it like. Um, oh no. Don got it all over herself. <laughs> and like for some reason, mine's melting really quickly. Like it's soupy. Like, I don't know. I don't see it being much better than like, yeah. You know, maybe I just don't know ice cream. It's custard. Well, yeah, but like, I'm not eating it fast enough, and it's like half melted, and I don't even know what I'm supposed to be tasting here. Like, yeah. I want to taste like the custard, and Look I can't. That. I don't know, guys. You guys have had Freddy's before? Put in the comments below. We want to hear about you. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's nothing more than like a, it's just nothing more than a, I don't know. And they just sprinkled the stuff on top. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like mixed all the way through or, you know what I mean? The candy anyway. My final analysis is that, you know, for $5 for this year, I don't think I, I honestly don't think it's worth it. I think that price is like way much. As for the taste, um, it was okay, but I don't rank it any higher than like Culver's. I wouldn't rank it any higher than a Blizzard at Dairy Queen, and it's literally turned to soup now. It didn't stay frozen at all. Mine melted no. quickly. Um, the caramel's like stuck to the side of the cup. I'm not. I'm not impressed for five bucks this here is like i don't know what would you pay for this don i don't know um i don't know three like, bucks is custard supposed to melt that quick no i don't know what it would doesn't you... help that it's like a 93 degree day but we're in an air conditioning jeep so for five dollars and 25 cents put in the comments below what you would pay I don't for know this. what this is, caramel. I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> so we just had come from the EOC Steakhouse, and we both got the prime rib. And the prime rib was good. It's probably one of the best prime ribs in the state of Tennessee. 
hands down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the the decor on the inside was really, um, it's like an old log cabin. You could tell it's from the early 60s. It probably hasn't changed much. Of course, there's a lot of history with the steakhouse, seeing that this is the official steakhouse of the Tennessee Vols. And so that's where a lot of history there. A lot of great athletes probably ate steak there. Now, for me, the prime rib, um, I've actually had better prime rib uh, back in Michigan at a place called Lucky's. Uh, this here just wasn't uh, as good, but it was still good. Now, you can't get uh, prime rib anywhere here in East Tennessee. In fact, I can't think of any places really in the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg that actually offer it. It's usually like... Um, you know, fillets or like your New York or what have you. So yes, um, that was a treat. Now they coin the rumor is, or at least what folks say is that that's the best steakhouse here in Knox, Sevier County, Jefferson, what have you. Um, I looked at Chris and Mindy's steak and it looked good. It looked good, didn't it? Well, it looked good. The steak. Yeah. And we had a salad. And it came with another side, so I ordered a sweet potato, and the sweet potato was really good, too. Yeah. Um, the salad I had was, uh, believe it or not, it was average. I had the uh, potatoes with the onions in that. Um, that was about average. So I guess my final analysis on it, is that the best steakhouse in, in East Tennessee? Uh, I would say probably not. Um, but it was good in many ways. Now, Dawn, what did you, is that the best steakhouse? Yes. In, and Dawn has a different opinion. She's like, that is the best steakhouse in Tennessee. So we're kind of divided there. I still think that Alamo. Alamo is good as well. And I think uh, Peddler could still give them a run for their money. Now, pricing-wise, we didn't get a receipt because Chris and Mindy actually took Dawn out for, for, our birthday. for her birthday. So you um, know that was a while back, but it was just, we're so busy. Chris is so busy. We're so busy. Uh, we just got to it. We're going to definitely say, Thumbs up to Chris and Mindy. Of course, if you don't know, Chris is about t-shirts. He's got a YouTube channel. We'll put a link in the description below. Uh, go over there and check him out with good friends. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And if you like this vlog, give it, give a, it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, please subscribe so you miss, don't miss these upcoming, well, Smoky Mountain Adventures. And you never know when we get back to Knoxville. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.